<coughs> this video is created by Jagrat Creation. It is on bank accounts. I wish to solve one sum here before you, wherein we are required to prepare profit and loss account. Observe the sum on the screen. This is the sum which I wish to solve here before you. From the following information, prepare profit and loss account of modern bank as on 31th of 2018. These are the figures for 2016-17 past year. These are the figures for current year 2017 and 18. And as you know that when we prepare the profit and loss account, we are also required to report the corresponding figures for the previous year. And you are given these this figures in this sum, so we will consider the figures for the previous year also while solving the sum. <coughs> now see, these are the interest and discount income from investment, interest on balance with RBI, commission exchange brokerage, profit on sale of investment, interest on deposits, interest to RBI expense, payment to and provision for employees, rent, rate, taxes, all are the expenses given to you, also given necessary schedules. So we are also required to prepare schedule number 13, 14, 15 and 16. The following terms are already adjusted with interest and discount. So these four items are already adjusted with interest and discount. Now rebate on bills discount at rupees 55. That is required to be adjusted against interest and discount. That's fine. So we are not required to consider it because it is already adjusted. But these three items, tax provision, provision for doubtful debt and loss on sale of investment, they are adjusted against interest and discount. It should not be adjusted against interest and discount. It should be disclosed and reported separately while preparing profit and loss account. So first of all, we are required to remove the effect of these three items, which is already adjusted and after adjustment, the amount arrived at is 2045. That amount is required to be amended first of all, though, first of all, and the effect, the adjustment effect of these three items, 1, 4, 8, 92, and 12, is required to be removed. So, I am required to add these three items. So, 2045 plus 148 tax provision should be disclosed separately while preparing profit and loss account. Provision for doubtful debt is a provision that is also required to be disclosed in provisions and contingency while preparing profit and loss account. The loss on sale of investment should be adjusted against the profit on sale of adjustment. So that is also re reported separately in schedule number 14 in other income. So it is also its effect on this 2045 is to be removed. So all these three items were deducted. While calculating the interest and discount, they are required to be added back and reported separately. So if you add this, this number will change. It will become 2292. So this is how interest and discount is required to be reported in profit and loss account 2292. So after considering these things, we can start with the sum. We are also required to prepare schedules. We are also required to give the corresponding figures for the previous year. Now let us start. So this is the details of sum given to me. Here I prepare profit and loss account. This is the current year figure. This is the previous year figures. Here I am required to prepare the, the profit and loss bifurcated into income, expenditure, profit and loss and appropriations. Now this is schedule 13, 14, 15 and 16. Current year and previous year figures are recorded. Now let us start with the sum. First of all, interest and discount 2297. That will go to schedule 13. This is the current year's figure. Previous year figure 1247 will be recorded here. Now, tax provision will be recorded in provisions and contingencies. Its effect will be in schedule 5. While preparing balance sheet, it's an adjustment entry. So here tax provision will be recorded, reported in profit and loss account in provisions and contingencies. So profit and loss account and provision for doubtful debts is reported as provisions and contingencies. So total 
works out to be 148 148 plus 92, 8 plus 2, 10, so 240. This is how provisions and contingencies are reported at 240. Its other effect is in Schedule 5 while preparing final accounts. Now, profit on sale of investment minus loss on sale of investment, net amount will be reported in other income. So this is profit on sale of investment, this is loss on sale of investment, net amount is recorded in the outer column and the corresponding figure for the previous year will be recorded in this column. Now this is how these items are considered. Now I want to continue with the other details of the sum. Income from investment, schedule 13, current year, previous year figures. Interest on balance with RBI, schedule 13, third item. Current year figure is 177, previous year figure is 155. Now commission exchange and brokerage that will go to other income. Current year figure and previous year figures are recorded. This is how it gets recorded. Profit and sale of investment already recorded. Interest on deposits, schedule 15. It's an expenditure. Current year and previous year. Interest to RBI for borrowings. That will go to schedule 15, current year figures and previous year figures. Now, other details, payment and provisions to employ first item of schedule 16 operating expenses, current year figure, previous year figure. Rent rates and taxes, same way, current year, previous year. Printing and stationery, current year, previous year. Advertisement, current year and previous year. Depreciation, fifth item, current year and previous year, 98, 98, same. Director fees will come before auditor's fee. Auditor's fee, current year 110, previous year is also 110, no change in fees. Law charges 152, previous year it was 50 only. Postage and telegram, current year 62, previous year 48. Now insurance 52, previous year 42. Repairs and maintenance, 66 for the current year, previous year, 57. This is how all expenses are recorded in operating expenses, that is schedule 16. Now, let's have the totals of all these things. Others, not, no there, not there. So, have the total of current year, 2586, previous year, 1696. Current year interest on, previous year interest on. This is the other income. Current year 822, previous year 834. Current year 969, 739. Now operating expenses, let's have the total. 2096, current year expenses, previous year expenses 1697. Now all these items are recorded. I can find out the profit for the current year. Current year income is 3418. This is previous year income. Expense for current year, expense for previous year. Income minus expense, profit for the current year. This is a profit for the current year. And here, there is a loss of 6,000. So this loss is the opening balance that will consider transferred here because opening balance of loss is 6,000. Current year profit is 103. So this loss of 6 will be transferred to this first column. So here, previous year loss plus current year profit, that works out to be 97. Here it's continued. Now I am I'm required to go for appropriation. I am required to transfer 25% to statutory reserve and 5% transfer to revenue reserve. So 25% of 103, that works out to... So I write the total. 103 into 25 percent, this is transfer to statutory reserve. As there was a loss in the previous year, you need not transfer any amount to statutory reserve. Transfer to revenue reserve, current profit, 103 into 5 percent, this is the transfer to revenue reserves, uh, transfer to other reserves, and for proposed dividend. Now, 97 minus 5.15 
and 2557 is to be deducted so you will get the closing balance of profit and loss account that is required to be reported in the balance sheet in schedule 2. So this is how profit is worked out and this profit will appear in the balance sheet in schedule 2. So this is how this sum gets solved. I have tried to explain you this sum. I feel you have followed all these things. Thanks to all of you.